So I made an Age of Ultron voice modulation filter. I'm going to play it for you now, and then I'm going to show you how I did it after it plays through. The voice I used is Robert California from The Office, played by James Spader. Check it out. Why did I choose Andy to run The Office? Because he's all surface, uncomplicated. What you see is what you get. Could be a recipe for mediocrity, yes, but then again, it might just be why people fight for him. There's something about an underdog that really inspires the unexceptional. In four seconds, my wife is going to be coming through that door. I told her she can work here under no circumstances. She cannot be allowed to happen. There you are, honey. How on earth did you miss the elevator? Do I look like someone who would waste my own time? If I invited you to lunch, I think you're a winner. If I didn't, I don't. But I just met you all. Life is long. Opinions change. Winners, prove me right. Losers, prove me wrong. Why is Jim treating the magician poorly? And you can't have a favorite Iron Chef. It depends entirely on the secret ingredient. Sometimes I feel you don't know food at all. When you recount your day, never say you woke up. It's a waste of your time. That's how every day has begun for everyone since the dawn of man. I am so tired of the Black Eyed Peas. It's rock and roll for people who don't like rock and roll. It's rap for people who don't like rap. It's pop for people who don't like pop. You're blackmailing me. <laughs> well, I will not be blackmailed by some ineffectual, privileged, effete, soft penis debutante. You want to start a street fight with me, bring it on, but you're going to be surprised by how ugly it gets. You don't even know my real name. I'm the f Lizard King. Okay, so first I'm going to have my bass audio that I'm going to use, and I'm going to put that in my multi-track session on Adobe Audition 13.0. Then I need to bring it in, and I'm going to stack it a few times. I'm going to stack it four times total. Then with my first track, I'm going to just boost the, e or the dB on that. Let's just go, I don't know, three and a half, four, something like that. We'll see what it sounds like. On the second track, I'm going to click it, go to my effects rack. And I'm going to put in a very simple under modulation, the flanger, flanger, whatever you call it. Click it. I'm going to go to the preset of robot, and I'm going to put that in there. So now my second track is that robotic effect, but I'm going to pull it down because that can be overwhelming. So we're going to go down to five, something like that. See what it sounds like. Third track, click it. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go into my FFT filter. I'm going to add a little bass to it. So just somewhere around here. Raise the bass end of that. All right, so now i got some bass boost on there. I'm not done with this one yet. Still in the third track, I'm going to go down to pitch shift. I am going to change my pitch. Just drop it by two here. We're going to lower this down and just do some uh, simple adjusting to this. All right, I've already played with this, and I got this uh, from somebody else on YouTube. I'll give them credit in the um, description. But I like it, and I had a good idea to do it today. And I felt like trying it out and seeing what it sounded like for my stuff. So I'm going to take this down to 47, this down to 20, and that should be good there. And then in my last one, I'm going to throw some extra bass boost on that one as well. So let's go back in my FT filter. I have to do one more thing on that third track. Don't let me forget that. So I'm going to throw this exact same bass boost on there. Okay, so there's that bass boost. Okay, so this one, I'm going to pull this down too so it's not overwhelming. It's down to about the same area, and we'll play with these levels in a minute probably. Just pull that one down so it's not so big either.